Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. It's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today because we've got a really, really neat demo for you and I think you're going to really enjoy it. We love the various kinds of materials that are made available to us by the various manufacturers, suppliers, wholesalers and importers in our industry. They make our designing so much fun and they enable us to come up with such wonderful things that can make people's lives better. And today we're going to show you a couple of products that I think are really, really fun to use, easy to use, and can give you some really incredible results. The demonstration that we're going to be doing today is based on essentially three things. One, some of these columns. These glass columns are now available more now today than ever before. They're great. They come in different sizes. They're basically cylinders that are big and they come tall, medium, small. We can do so much with them. But we're going to play with these cylinders a little bit. And to play with it, we're using an interesting tool. An interesting tool. These are some of the wire collars, wire collars put out by Smithers Oasis. Isn't this neat? The folks at Smithers sent us some of these things and we really want to thank the Oasis people for it because they've got pearls, they've got wire, they come in silver, they come in gold, they come in copper, they come in different uh, configurations. But the neat thing about it is we can take them, we can shape them, we can bend them, we can do all kinds of neat things with them. We can use them on the outside of containers, we can use them on the inside, we can use them as doilies for bouquets. We can use them as infrastructure in water-based designing. In this particular case, we've taken some of these wire collars, several of them, and we've extended it down through a column, through a uh, glass column, and also placed it on the top. And we're going to make use of another floral product by the folks at Oasis, the foam spheres, because once we have this infrastructure in place, we can take a foam sphere and we can place it in here and that's exactly what we're going to do because look I can take this lo and behold built in a foam sphere and place it over on here and look quick easy and we come up with a great look isn't that amazing isn't that amazing just based on a column based on our wire and based on foam sphere isn't that amazing. But we're not going to stop with one. No. Today's look is modular. Two can be better than one. So here is a second one. But wait, there's more! At Rittner's we like to think in terms of more. And here we've got a third one. These groupings are wonderful. You can use them in an entry area. You can use them in a hotel lobby. You can do, them, do these kinds of things for a bay window. You can use them um, on your mantle. Look at the effect. They're great for parties. They're great for functions. You can do all kinds of things with them. I should talk about the materials in them, incidentally. We've got some very, very neat things. Besides our roses, we have some of our lilies in here. We also have a carnation or two, some larkspur tucked in here and there. And we've got all kinds of other interesting things. We've got some euphorbia mixed in here as well. The euphorbia snow on the mountain. We have some tansy yarrow here. We have some of our viburnum uh, opulus, viburnum opulus berries. We have some salix willow as far as our materials are concerned. Some really, really neat things. And yes, we even have some blackberries. Believe it or not, there are some blackberries that are a wonderful, wonderful material that are put out uh, that are available around this time of the year. So we've got some very neat combinations of florals. Ah, but three is not enough for you? Don't worry. Wait, there's more. How about a smaller one, which incidentally could also be used as a table centerpiece. And you can do all kinds of neat things in terms of the way you arrange them. We could start with a big one with two on either side and a smaller one placed in front. Or we could play with the concept of steps, like these three. In other words, you can do all kinds of things when you start playing with these wonderful materials that are made available to us. Amazing, amazing. We can come up with all kinds of interesting effects using our combination of our glassware, but especially in this case, relying on the foam spheres and the wire collars from the Oasis Company. This stuff is incredible. 
It's incredible. Oh, one last thing that I should show you here that we could do. If we wanted to, we could come up with even more kinky effects if we wanted to start taking some of our bamboo and river cane and start mixing it in. In other words, we could connect these things together and the thing will feel like some sort of giant erector set by taking some of our bamboo and having things going from one to another. Now I'm just placing it here, my viewer, but I could easily just take this, push it into my foam sphere and then push it in here so that we can have this coming up looking like some sort of a cabalistic weirdness in terms of things all over the place crisscrossing. So we can do things like that as well when we're dealing with some of these wonderful, wonderful materials. Well, my viewer, we've covered a lot of ground in just a short period of time, but I hope that you get a sense of some of these things. At Rittner's Floral School, we believe that floral designing should be exciting, dynamic, quick, and easy. And I think that using some of these marvelous tools that are available to us from our manufacturers and wholesalers, you too can come up with quick and easy results. All of us here at Rittner's have been ver working very hard to produce this to show you. We hope that you enjoyed this brief presentation on behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School. I am Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.